Welcome back. Walt says it's show and tell day in the Mississippi <laughs> Moment Corner, and I'm sure he'll explain exactly what that means. Yes, it means I'm living up to my mental state of mind of being the world's oldest third grader. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think they do this anymore, but in third grade, once a week, we had to bring something of interest up, you know, bring it into class, get up and tell what it was, and explain all about it. It's called show and tell. So today I have something to show to all of the class, and that's all of y'all, and it's older than the hills, and it's in the hills of northeast Mississippi. Well, actually, it's under the hills of not only northeast Mississippi, but pretty much the rest of the state to one degree or another, and that's fossils. Only they seem to be easier to get to than some of the creek beds up in northeast Mississippi. Now, what kind of fossils? Mostly seashells from when all of this part of the world was under the ocean. That's why we have no dinosaur bones in Mississippi. They lived on land at the same time we were at the bottom of the sea. We do have whale skeletons here and shark's teeth, and this... If you know where to look, fossilized oyster shells. They're parts of limestone outcroppings that haven't melted into the rock shelf yet. Now, this is a creek near New Albany where they actually did find a dinosaur tooth, but it had washed there from way, way away from here. Now, I've seen fossilized sand dollar shells from the Chickasahay River south of Meridian. Now, we found Ice Age fossils in the Mississippi River when the water's low and the gravel bars are exposed. My granddaddy found oyster shells in the creek bottoms of northeast Mississippi, and that was his proof of Noah's flood. And geologists use those same oyster shells to prove how old the Earth is. Now, for me... It's something interesting to bring in on show and tell day. By the way, there is a public park near Baldwin where you can go hunt for fossils if you want to. It's at a creek. It's called the Browning Creek Park. And if you can't remember that name, you can find it just by Googling Mississippi Fossil Park.